Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Subnautica. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we're gonna to be diving back into the world of Subnautica and what an amazing episode it was the last time that we played this game because for one, I got to introduce kind of my newly revamped Malibu and uh, we're still, it's still a work in progress, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, I've organized, uh, you know, kind of just a whole workstation within the garage and, uh, you know, we've got a kitchen now, we've got a house and a garage and, uh, Everything was fine. We were living it up. Uh, you know, a lot of cool things happened. We got to explore another life pod. We got a, a PDA that we didn't even realize that we had missed uh, to do with Keen over at Life Pod 19. We found Ruby. We got a chance to build some water filtration. But then something happened in the previous episode that I found personally to be haunting. A radio transmission came through with some sort of unearthly alien voice that was intimidating not all of the message came through but the things that i picked up were that it blew up the aurora and it's scouting uh like it's on patrol and it said that there is one unconfirmed target left and that i, I mean i got the impression it's talking about me uh, which now builds a sense of I'm being hunted, that we were intentionally, like, I started thinking maybe this was an abandoned planet, and the gun uh, building that we're next to, the alien structure with the cannon, that maybe that was just kind of left on auto, and, you know, that blew us out, but we've, had, we've seen no intelligent life here. You know, we've had a bunch of sea life. But we haven't really seen uh, like what we would call like the people who well, basically built that structure, right? And now uh, I thought, okay, great, we'll build the Malibu house. We moved in next door. We're on the beach. We're pretty safe. And now I'm wondering, did I just, you know, like is, is it kind of a, like a flagrant foul now that I've done? Like, am I taunting them by building a home next to that structure? I'm not hidden deep below the sea. I'm like, look at me, I got a Malibu house, you know? Here's my pink car. I, I don't know <laughs> what I've done here, but um, I, I wonder if I'm sticking out like a sore thumb and if there is an alien race that lives on this planet and I just can't see them, or uh, maybe they come in and check in once in a while, uh, but clearly it was intentional that we were blown down and it sounds like something is on the hunt for me and that was haunting and it was very uneasy and now to me while in the midst of getting excited about my home thinking man i could just live on this planet now with what i've done it's so fun i feel another sense of pressure now to remember uh, as as i was told you know make a home out of it but it's not really home and we need to get off this planet. So there's other things we need to do to do that, and we're gonna work on that a little bit today. Uh, but before we jump in, I just wanna say, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure to click like on them, and also subscribe if you're not already a member of our community. We would love to have you come on in and be a part of the Let's Play Easy Mode family. If you wanna dive in deeper with the family, you can hop on over to the Discord server. Uh, the link for that is in the description down below and a lot of cool stuff. We're just kinda of getting started over there, but we've got people signing up all the time and uh, it's a much more moderated area and uh, really cool people over there, so definitely worth checking that out. And of course, as always, if you really want to support the channel and you really wanna dive in deep with me, hop on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. For $5 a month, you can get all of these videos that you see here on YouTube as early release content because they all go to Patreon first. Some of these videos are on Patreon like a week before they hit YouTube. Uh, so it definitely, if you enjoy the content and you would like to see it before it hits YouTube and kind of really keep up on it uh, and stay ahead of the curve, uh, make sure to check that out for $5 a month or for $10 a month if you want to dive in a little deeper, you can get all of that. The also exclusive content too. There are actual games and playthroughs on my Patreon page that are not and will not ever be here on YouTube. 
uh, because they are for Patreon eyes only. So absolutely would love if you want to go ahead and check that out. I do just want to say a quick thank you to our patrons, the current list of people over there at Patreon who are just holding the fort down. Thank you guys so very much for supporting Let's Play Easy Mode. I love you guys. I can't thank you enough. If you are out there and you would like to join this amazing list of people and get shout outs in all of the videos as well, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon today. All right, guys, let's jump into the world of Subnautica. Well, okay, guys, we are getting ready to dive back into the world of Subnautica. This is exactly where we left off, and this is the haunting message. Play partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. And then that growl. Guys, that growl at the end. Oh, that is so unnerving. All right, well, I have a mission for today. Uh, first off, let me uh, go ahead. I'm not even sure what time it is as far as part of the day, but let's have a cup of coffee and let's have, uh, we have, well, we, we already have two waters here and we have a peeper. Um, I think we're okay because we can take that water. Let's bring another uh, cooked peeper with us. And uh, we'll have our coffee. Um, and do we need. Yeah, we got med kit already. Um, guys, let's go. Today, I would like to get the materials I'm going to need for polyaniline. And to do that. I need to find deep shrooms. And to do that, let me, uh, oh, let me check on my water here. I, I mean, I, we only just built it. So we bought, we built all these water filters. Yeah, these things are still gonna be, oh, they're unpowered. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even think building all this is gonna require a ton more power. Uh, okay. Well, I know what we need to do. Workshop. Um. It's okay. We'll, we'll do this. Titanium. I got an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do this. Ah, there. Dang it, I, there. I'm gonna build another multi-purpose room. Let's go put a ladder in. Uh, let's do it on this side. Uh, I need two more titanium. Oh, I now I'm gonna get, start getting confused. We're gonna make another bioreactor. We have two bioreactors uh, for this space. Because right now we have no power in this room whatsoever. So I think two bioreactors could get it done. Oops. Yep. Yep. 
and we are going to need um, titanium lubricant you know what I think I actually can do that to the workshop there we go so I need three right let's just take what we have and there was a wiring kit here in here yep and to make lubricant I think I need creep vines which we can go get real quick I can't fabricate anything let's get up to the, the main house let's go to sleep actually and then Let's go over here. Hi, kitty. Alright, to bed. Hey, Wilson. Wilson's our new stuffy. Have a little sip of coffee here. The Let's Play Easy Mode mug. $14 for 14 ounces. Makes your coffee taste great. Link is in the description down below at the merch store. Uh, okay. Um, now, we need, what do we need? We need this. Creep vine. First of all, to make lubricant, we need creep vine, right? Uh... Basic material, yeah. I don't think we had that here. Uh, I'm trying to think if I have any in storage. I don't. This will be easy enough to get though. Hey, the legs are back. They glitched out and they disappeared a while ago, but they're back now. Maybe that's because I just built onto it. Fishies. Ah! You. We're gonna play like that, eh? Again? I got him. Wait, no, I didn't. Come back. He's going to eat all my fish that I'm trying to. Did he get away? That got him. Can I cook him? Nope. There. Gonna have to learn how to grow some creep vine. So we can uh, have it nearby, because lubricant's always, always an important thing. We keep coming up with reasons why we need it. There we go. We're back. That was it. We'll do this and then we can build another bioreactor. And then we're going to go exploring because uh, here's what I want to do. I want to go build, I want to make some polyaniline. And my understanding is that to do that, I, I have gold. Uh, and I also, I think I have the, I have, I need a salt deposit. 
I'm actually really glad that the legs are back because that gives me a better idea of how to park the, uh, there we go. The, the legs make a nice guide. Um, workshop, uh, the polyaniline, whoops. It's unpowered. I can't even, do, I have to do it, I'm gonna have to do it up there, that's right. Back up to the house is where we'll, we'll go to make lubricant. Uh, so anyway, I've got salt deposit, I've got gold. What I need is something called deep shrooms. And my understanding is that those deep shrooms are found in various Welcome places. Aboard, and we're gonna go see if we can find some. Uh, okay. We're gonna save everything we have right now. We're gonna just make lubricant. Fiber mesh, I don't need that. Oh, it's the seed clusters, not Creepvine itself. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, back out. Oh, I can't believe I made that mistake. It's the seed clusters, okay. I roll. To the dream car! All systems online. At least it's not too far. Now, there are a few places. One thing I haven't quite, I will tell you, in all my exploring, I haven't necessarily made a mental note yet of what certain places are. Like when I see the Blood Kelp Forest or, uh, you know, oh, there we go. I can use you. Well, I haven't scanned those yet, really? go there oh, can I get all of them? inventory full that's fine we might as well get a bunch because we always seem to be needing them and I'll make sure I make some room in storage Stay close to the surface. We have a nice charged battery. There's more fish down there, but our inventory is full. There we go. Oh wait, I can't fabricate it here because I don't have enough power. There we go. Hey, I hope you guys are doing all right out there. A little shout out to all of the Subnautica fans. So glad to have you guys watching this video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to do that.
Let's make a, a little bit more. I feel like that's always something we can use. And let's save the seeds, because we might need those for something else. Now that we have fabricated that, we have the wiring kit, we're good to go. Let's go build our bioreactor. You know, we have a lot of quartz too, and we could actually put a bunch of windows up there. I do like that idea, uh, but I'll go down and get those after. There. Uh, let's do this. This is exciting. All right, there we go. Let's hope that lights it up. Let's give it some compost. Sure, why not? Throw some peepers in there. That. Let that charge up. We'll go get some more. Let's go get some more stuff. Maybe by then, this will also, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice, guys. That's what happened. The one down here isn't charged up either. Oh, I'm such a, okay. Well, let's, let's, let's go get some compost. Let's do it. Let's go get, let's just go get stuff that we can, oops. Let's go collect. Systems hey, I wonder, you know, I've been growing those mushrooms like the Jaffa cup and everything and I don't really think it does Much Yes, I know I just hit myself with my own car I haven't scanned a peeper. Pretty sure I did at some point. I think it was one of the members of our community, Queen, who mentioned that in this game, if you have a stalker come at you, you can hold up a peeper and you can feed it. How much you want to bet that I can not stick around here because something's trying to chomp at me. I'm just gonna go back because there's all kinds of stuff we could probably get. Basically it's compost over here and it's a safer area. The shallows are always a little safer. Yeah, I was saying earlier though, I haven't really taken enough time to really memorize what places are what. I mean, it, I, I kinda, ooh, the mushrooms would be good. I bet that would be great compost because you can make batteries with this, so why couldn't you? Ooh, table coral isn't a bad idea either while we're here. I think, I bet that that's a lot right there. I bet that's probably all we really need. Ooh, hi guys. Here we go. Now, let's just go back. I think we're good.
That should be enough. Throw all that in there. Bioreactor will work good. It'll work well. Pardon my English. Mm, that's really good. Drinking hazelnut today. So, for you coffee drinkers out there, where's your favorite coffee? I'm all over the place. I just love coffee. I have a little coffee bar in my house with a Keurig with all kinds of different flavors. I switch them up all the time. Now, I'm not a collector of things. Uh, typically, I don't, I, I, I'm kind of a minimalist, honestly, with a lot of stuff I have. But um, one thing I always like to, I, I, before my daughter was born, I used to travel a lot for my work. And um, any town, whatever city I was in, I always loved to get a collector cup, like a coffee cup of that city or some cool place that I would go. And so I have, that's my, that's my thing I like to collect. I'm always collecting coffee cups. Of course I fell in. There we go. Let's go feed our reactor. That did it. That'll charge good, and let's do the other one. Let's just throw the fish in there for now. You know, I, that's a really good reminder that I should be checking on the reactor There. Um, I should definitely be checking on the reactor back at the house, too. Well, let's hope that we have enough power. Let this uh, charge up. Maybe if we uh, just go sleep. I go check on this bioreactor over here. I think this one doesn't seem to go as fast because we do have a ton of solar panels hooked up to the base. Hi, kitty. Yeah, see, this one's nice and charged up. But it makes me wonder, like, I've been growing those mushrooms. Maybe that's the use for them. Right? Like, I can put this... There. Like, those are all probably good for, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's go back up and just... It says it's all charged up over here, but... Wow, that thing's... Doing great. It must be... Here, let's throw... That in there, and let's throw that in there. Just cuz. But, I mean, that thing, that's got to be because of the solar panels, right? Maybe it just doesn't have to work as hard. I wish there was a way I could climb down right here. Well, maybe... Yeah, I guess I could. Oh, that's way better. All this time. All right, that's good. Let's go to the one up here. Uh, okay. This one. I mean, there you go. It, it's trying to charge, it looks like. It's not really happening. 
Is there just too much? Are those water filtration machines just too much on this? Maybe I need some more solar panels. I have an idea. I'm amazed that's actually even still able to work down there. Hmm. All right, well, uh, hang on. Just toss this out. You can always get more. Uh, let's get some quartz. I have an idea. I'm gonna go make some glass and go put some windows upstairs. Oh, guys. I have two bioreactors. Oh, it is charging up. Look, it is charging up. Okay, we just need to give it some time, that's all. That's okay. We'll go up and use the uh, fabricator in the kitchen. Even though that fab this fabricator, in my mind now, I'm kind of calling it the oven. Because really, this is where we do most of our cooking of fish. Hi, kitty. Um, so the question is, where am I going to go find deep shrooms? I've been told it's the Lost River. The volcano. And I want to say that we've been down by the volcano. Or is it a volcano or lava something? Are we losing power because the sun's going down? Hmm, possibly. That's okay. Oh, it's charging up. Eventually, it'll be up to full speed. Okay. Uh, windows. Oh, I'm out of glass. Okay. There. I need uh, more. More glass. That's fine. We got our start. We got two, two uh, rooms that are... And it is charging fast, actually, now. So I think once we go to sleep again, we'll be good. Uh, but let's go put what we have away. I want to make room in our inventory for what we're about to go find. <coughs> I'm going to build some more... Um, Build some more wall lockers as well. I can't remember. I need two titanium. Good to know. There. All right, we're getting up to, I think this is enough to work now, right? Yeah, all right, we got power. And we're gonna get more. I bet by the time we uh, come back, do I? I need to bring something with me, though. I need. I do need to bring something for a me as a meal. How do you tell if it's like how much? daylight you have left I've never hi kitty I've never really asked that question but all right refrigerator oh we need to do a little cooking too so let's bring our water out 
Boy, can you imagine how much water we're going to have in here soon? It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, let's bring that, and let's bring that. Let's cook the rest of this, actually. We need three salt. Peeper, man, we've had Peeper since the very beginning of this playthrough, and uh, it's, it's kind of like Old Faithful. All right, let's put some food back. I am gonna keep the Peeper with me, because it's just it's a good source of, it's 32 food, so. Uh, I can actually probably stand to eat some at this point. Why not? Okay. Welcome aboard. Whoa, look at that. 275. That's going to be up to par in no time. Uh, now, let me get my Sea Glide. Cannon, flashlight, scanner, and nope, it won't let me push the habitat builder out. Oh, all right. I like to have my that's not the order I want them in, but uh, that'll work. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. All right. Let's go. Uh, okay, here's what I know about the blood kelp thing, forest whatever is everything I ever read or anyone anything you guys ever tell me it, it's usually every all measurements are usually done from this life pod 5 so let's go back to our old life pod and then we will find where we need to go I believe it is southwest of this life pod This life pod kind of still gets treated as like the center spot for so many. Deep shrooms, guys. That's what we're looking for. Because what, here's what my understanding is. To make, was it the polyaniline or whatever, we need other components to build, I think, was it hydrochloric acid? I think. Southwest. Oh. See what we find. Uh, well, we need quartz as well, so. And you know you can always find quartz kicking around here. All that. Ooh, there's that wreck. 
We've explored that before, I believe. I don't want, I'm, I'm also learning from the previous couple of episodes, while having the headlights on the car really help when I'm trying to highlight things to grab. At the same time, it can also be a bugger and because it can attract certain things as well. We're just going farming here today, guys. I'm out. We are looking. Ah, that's the other. I think that's the. Hang on. I'll come back down in a second. I'm gonna show you guys what it is I'm trying to. I was trying to do. Uh, there were certain things that I wanted to upgrade the car with that I needed polyaniline for. We got the solar charger. This. The perimeter defense. Now we can make a wiring kit easy enough, but we need polyaniline to make it. Now, what I've also been told uh, is that the ingredients to make polyaniline are gold, uh, I think hydrochloric acid. Oh, I can't remember now. But all I know is I need deep shrooms. I just remember everything I saw. I was like, I can do that, except I need deep shrooms. Farming we will go, a farming we will go. Hi ho the dairy o a farming we will go. Right there. There it is. Tell you what, when it gets dark, it sure gets dark. Back to the car. Ooh. Now I have no idea what these deep shrooms are gonna look like. So it's definitely gonna be worth my while uh, to Probably get low. Well, we said I need a gold. I don't need that salt deposit. I will take the quartz. I mean, even if I just find the location where the shrooms are at. Then we'll be doing good, but I might as well grab a few of these things that we know we need while we're at it. Now those are acid mushrooms, right? We're still, yeah. I'm out. That thing. Stay protected. Where's the car? There it is. <laughs> I see how it is. Whew. What's that? Probably just more acid mushrooms, right? Yeah, those are acid mushrooms.
What is that? Look at the pink. I, I, I know this isn't the blood kelp. What is over there? <gasps> Time capsule! Time capsule! <sighs> what do we got? Another time capsule. Oh, oh, look at their cool base. I landed somewhere near the poles. Was lucky enough to find a suitable place for a base. Weird plans, uh, or weird plants. Uh, weirder, I'm really sorry that you spelled weirder wrong, but don't worry, I can't pronounce words on this channel either. Weird plants, weirder fish, some kind of structures in the caves, and this odd feeling that I was being observed by something beyond me. I don't know how I ended up in this situation. I don't know what these pustules uh, on my skin are. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, I don't even know if this rocket will get me into orbit. If anyone reads this, take my sea glide. It has a power source I rigged from one of the structures, so don't throw it away. It's been used, uh, use, useful to me here. I hope you find uh, use from it too. Oh, well, listen, if you are out there and for some, I mean, this would literally, there's better chances you, that, that, like, I probably have a better chance of winning the next Powerball giveaway than I actually do whoever wrote this ever seeing this video, but, uh, thank you. Well, even if I, uh just get all this other stuff, it was still a good farming trip, right? Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> wow, there's a lot over here to be farmed, though, I will say. Man, there's so much. Oh, too bad. Oh, well. All right, let's see where are we. We are 1,700 meters southwest is really where we need to go. So we're going to go northeast back towards Malibu and just remember... To get over here, we need to go like 1,700 meters. And we'll come back. And that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we'll play this out. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Who knows, uh, perhaps. Perhaps we'll go back and we'll find all kinds of, you know, uh, water because our house is all, or our garage is all charged up. Any chance of uh, shrooms being down here? Deep shrooms. Oh, look at that. <gasps> what? Power transmitter? Blueprint acquired. 
Well, I'm not gonna complain with that. What did that actually give us? What's a power transmitter do? Extends range of a power source. Okay, okay. That's great. That's awesome. I have a feeling that none of these are, we're gonna find deep shrooms here. Like I said, it, I, I heard it was blood kelp forest or something. Tree spawn, tree leech. Oh, tree mushroom. This is kind of nice over here. Question is, Will I find anything useful? Wow. Uh, okay. We went over here, right? I mean, we, how would we have missed this? Oh, yes. More titanium. Sure. All right, let's go. Anything important? Power transmitter? Yeah. I'm really hoping I could, wouldn't it be awesome if I, if I could find. Oh, look, I can get out this way too. That's nice. Oh, I can scan. Office chair, okay. Nice, okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, next, let's get out the laser cutter. Here we go. What are we gonna find? Let me get my scanner out. Oops. What you got for me here? Getting all turned around. I always get super motion sick with when they do this. Cause also then I get turned around enough that I can't like. Uh, 
I can't navigate around. Very hard. Go breathe. Ah, stop with the... Uh, I went down there, and I think I went... Let's go see... Uh, there it is. Okay. Nice. I'll stay parked here. I wanted to find another entrance. Yeah, I, I keep hoping I'll find a scanner room fragment or something like that. Keep looking to see if the uh it'll pop up Power tr transmitter. We have that. Oh, is there? I thought I saw a PDA. Just exploring. I just don't want to get stuck. Another entrance, too. Oops. Oh, wait, was there something in there? There is. What is it? Oh, it's just one of those. And we already, we're loaded on, uh, on inventory. All right, that's cool. I do really want to get home, though, and drop all this stuff off. I'll come back and explore that another time. Just remember it's a uh, part of our southeast trip or southwest that we need to go this way. Oh, hi. All right, guys. Well, let's go back and dump off the stuff that we've gotten. Let's go see how our bioreactors are charging up. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna look, really try to find that deep shroom. And we'll see what we can do. And I 
think it's night, right? Well, oh, actually, no, it's just really dark down here. Is there a mod? I don't think I remember seeing a mod where it just makes the dream car faster, right? Look at that, guys. We are at full power. Love it. Now, let's put some stuff away. Uh, let's first fabricate our titanium. I'm going to build some more wall lockers with it. Uh, glass. Yeah, let's make more glass. Okay. Copper wire, we're not ready for that yet. We are gonna need to make some uh, wiring kits, but. All right, um, I got stuff to put away. Uh, quartz and copper ore and lead. Well, we have silver ore. Uh, wherever you are, gold, silver ore. Oh, the sea glide was from the, uh, the, the nice time capsule that we saw. Uh, I think I got a lithium too, right? I got lead and lithium. Lead. Oh wait, did I get a diamond? No, I didn't get a diamond. I got gold. And we're gonna use the glass and we have quartz and co oh, more copper ore, that's right. Quartz, copper ore. Nice. Let's go build. Oh, first, uh, let's build some. Um, oops. More wall lockers so we can sort this stuff. I mean, really, it's gonna be three on every wall. Oh, that was enough, okay. Another time, but now we can spread all of this stuff out. We just added five new lockers, so we can now kind of organize a little bit more. Let's go build some glass. Or uh, windows, I should say. Oh, look at that, that's so cool, okay. Yep, and there. Yeah, everything's uh well powered now, guys. So looking good, looking good. Come on now. There we go. Back to the workshop. 
Um, quartz. Let's organize this. Let's have a ruby. Um, and let's have a gel sack. Because we're going to need that for stuff. Uh, ooh. Oh, tiger plant seed. That's right. And blood oil. That's right. Okay. And the benzene. And lubricant. See, we got all that stuff here. Okay. Random. I should just have miscellaneous, too. All right. So this is going to be ruby. Uh, we're going to try doing it when we spell it the right way. There. Now let's put our ruby in there. Um, tell you what, we'll do glass. All right. Glass, titanium is also at gel sacks. Wow, I'm like double hitting everything today. Uh, there we go. Gel sacks. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, and okay, I think that was it, right? The rest of it's just tools, and then we have that titanium there. Nice, that was good. Look at that. Now, let's go up. Oh, no. Let's go down see if we have any water production that we can put back in the fridge. I believe we do. Oh, guys, we are not running out of water again. Ho, 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 look at that. Oh, I'm so glad we did this, the water room. All right, we need deep shrooms. So that'll be one of our next things. Hi, Welcome kitty. Uh, first of all, we need to drink a water and probably eat a fish. Um, okay, and we'll put the salt away. There, we're good. Let's uh oh, let's let's eat. Not bad. Uh, I think we need to go exploring again. Let's go. We're gonna need to go fishing as well, just to go get some fish to put in the fridge. We need to go on a fishing trip. It's really too bad that you can't like, Use your repair gun right here. Because I keep trying to, unless I'm just doing it wrong. It wasn't letting me repair it before. See? You just gotta get in it. Welcome aboard all systems online. 
All right. Let's go head southwest. By like 1,700 miles. Meters, I mean. And uh, let's go look and see if we can find a deep shroom. Because I feel like, I'm wondering if I scan it, it will come up and give me the recipe like, yeah, you can make hydrochloric acid. Because I thought that's what I saw that I needed for polyaniline. That's what, some of you guys mentioned that to me and then I was like, oh, okay. So I kind I did look that up because I'm like, I know that's what I need. The big question is, guys, who in the world was on that radio transmission? Jumping all the time. I knew what I was looking for specifically. I'm assuming it just looks like a regular mushroom. Now this looks like it needs a name. I don't know what this is, but all these riches and everything, I gotta think there's a name for this place. Take a look at this. <gasps> what? Cyclops bridge fragment? Okay, we'll take it. That looks like a part of a sea moth. Oh, moon pool, moon pool. That's another creature egg, right? Yeah. Looks like a pallet almost. <gasps> no way. Okay. Guys, this is crazy. We're finding Cyclops parts. Honestly, I, I didn't expect this. I didn't think we'd be finding those.
Shouldn't have turned my light on. Uh, oh, one of those things. Be awesome to find a time capsule with polyaniline in it. That's why I should leave when I finally leave the planet. Just another moon pool. I'm gonna get the titanium anyway. Fishies. Oh, what else we got here? Something else to scan, I think. Another Cyclops bridge fragment. Well, that's two right there. I honestly don't even know what the Cyclops is yet. I'm assuming it's like a bigger ship than the Barbie car here. Whoa. Yo, it's a jelly. Well, I mean, I, I'm kind of, I, I didn't set out to find those parts, but I kind of feel like I need to stay here and keep looking. There's something over there. I think we got enough to make a Cyclops bridge. I don't know what that means, but. Uh, I think it's under vehicle, right? The Cyclops is considered a vehicle. Um, Cyclops. Oh, so this is how to build, okay, the whole thing. So we got plans for building us. So we have that. There's the actual Cyclops itself. So that's, we don't know what that is, but man, Cyclops engine. So we're, we're getting all of this. That's really cool. Oh wait, that's another uh, thingamajiggy. Yep, the hull. Right. Well, I wasn't expecting to do this today. We were gonna go look for deep shrooms. All right, we gotta be careful. There's something down there to scan, and that thing doesn't want anything to do with us. Oh, we already did that one. Well, scan it anyway. Hello? Prawn suit. No kidding. Wait, is that the other one? Yep.
We have a prawn suit drill arm. Wow. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's look. Uh, look at that. Okay, we have prawn suit torpedo arm, prawn suit drill arm. Does that mean well, that's vehicle upgrades? Like, we don't actually have enough to build a prawn suit, right? We just need the torpedo arm, but... Magnet... You know, I have... Oh, we need to build um, the torpedo system, which actually I think we can do now that we... Ooh, yeah. Okay. We need to do that, too, because we have lithium, and we can make aerogel. And then from there, we have magnetite. And we could do generates a localized gravity distortion. Load this. Okay. How many of those do you get? Just one? Release a cloud of toxic gas. Load this to a vehicle. Yeah. I don't know how to make a gas pod, but. There's parts over here, guys. Okay. Nope. Back in. It's gonna be dark. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Let's just get the titanium. I thought that would at least be metal salvage, but... Uh. Woo! I hear noises! Oop, wait. That might just be metal salvage, but... Find out. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, this changed the uh, the mission because it it went from going and finding the area for deep shrooms. This is the one we already got, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not complaining with titanium. Kind of live and die by titanium now. Wow. Oh, I think that's another thing that we need down there. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's more. There we go. Ah! <laughs> Every time I jump in there, it always propels it. How are we looking on inventory? My bad. Okay, so we have the hull, 
We have the bridge. We almost have the engine. And then we just need to be able to build a Cyclops. But will that become available when all the rest of it is? I don't know. I mean, look at this. We already have all the upgrades. Engine efficiency, reduce heat by, wow. I mean, gosh, I if I could find the Cyclops engine blueprint. How cool would it be if I, I started looking for, you know, deep shrooms, but we end up somehow building a Cyclops today. And there's so much cool stuff to go farming with over here. I really do want to electrify this though. Ooh, we are dark in here. Oh. Uh Oh no. I drank all my water. Let's go. We're out. We're going home, guys. Didn't even notice, I was so mesmerized and I didn't bring enough water with me. So amazing. I bet we're gonna come down right to the wire here. I think we'll make it, but. Back to Malibu. I hear all these noises. You know, while we're here though, now I just realized that we could probably put the stuff together to build the torpedo system. That's at least something. Water room. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Take all that. We'll take that. And there. Go bring that upstairs. Well, let's actually go file away what we have here now. Unpowered. Has it already used? Okay, well, 
I'm learning some stuff. And that is... We are probably going to need to build some more solar power. Um, and we do that with quartz and copper ore, which we have we can get. Um, I'll just attach that to the whole facility. Uh, okay, so what do I need? I need to, oh yeah, I was gonna put all this away. Uh, let's go up to the house first. You know, I remember a while back, hi kitty, I remember a while back that we ended up, uh, like, we found this, like, underground lava area, and I think it's in between Malibu and... I think it was in between Malibu and the Aurora. Well, junk food, junk food, junk food, junk food, junk food, junk food. Junk food, more junk food, junk food. It'll get the job done. There, and take a water for good measure. All right, I need to go fishing too. Like, go get a lot of fish. You know, something else I wanted to do too was um, get another uh, Propulsion gun to suck things in. Ugh, all right. We need more acid mushrooms, maybe? I mean, those didn't really do the trick. It's not, I think, you know, here's what I need to do. Solar powered, let's go. Uh, it was, what did I say it was? Copper ore and quartz. Oh man, I've got just enough for one. But let's go build it. Because we have a lot of solar powered Alright, so this one We'll build another one. Yep. Nice. And I need more quartz, but then I could go get more. Let's go get some quartz. We know where to go, right? Wow, this set, you know, it's so funny. It's, in this game, sometimes you have an idea of what you want to do, but then you get distracted with the basic, you know, living requirements, you know? Like, I need to get my power back up for what I want to do. Which is fine, we'll go get some quartz. We know where to get it. And go back uh, kind of to where we were a little bit, but. So it sounds like I do, I do have some farming to do as far as gathering some supplies and I really need to just take a few minutes and just go get a bunch of fish and just keep them on hand. Oh, duh, I had bulba trees too. I've gotten so caught up with the idea of a refrigerator. 
I don't want to forget that I've got Bulba trees. And Chinese potatoes. Stay away from me. All right, we'll get some quartz over here. Ooh. No, nothing. Nothing? That's something. There's more metal salvage? That's not really what I'm here for, but... Quartz! Uh, all right, fine. I don't need it. Not right now. That's a creature egg. Okay. Oh, sorry. There it is. Keep it going. Oh, uh, yeah, if we can build a few more solar panels, we might be okay. Because I, oh, look at that. I think that that's what's keeping the bioreactor in the house going is so many solar panels. I, I think, what do we have? Like three or four of them. I think it's a Spazzy McGee. That's what I'm gonna call him. Spazzy McGee. All right, let's go. But we still gotta get down into those, uh, into that territory for deep shrooms. I wanna electrify this thing. Cause I feel like that would really help when things are trying to bite at it. All right, well, this has been quite an episode so far. Not really what I expected. I really didn't expect to get all those Cyclops parts. Man, we're really close now, I think, to building a Cyclops. I think to do that, we need to do that in our vehicle bay over here. Which is on the other side. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now we got a little bit more energy. Uh, we got that and that, and I need a copper ore. So let's go, while we're at it, load up some acid mushrooms here. And, uh, you know, I wonder, I wonder if the mushrooms are working. 
I wonder then if I should do a grow bed in here near the bioreactors and, and grow those mushrooms, those Java mushrooms and things like that. That might be a good idea. All right, uh, copper ore. Let's just grow in two, three, four. Okay, let's see what we can do. Solar panels, here we go. I'm building another one right here, I guess. And we'll build one here. My under, oops. Yeah, my understanding is it doesn't actually have to be like in the sun as long as it's outside. Now there's four right there. Yep, sure, why not? We'll do more. I don't want it to get low on power again. That's gotta be enough, right? That'll, that'll go up. Now, um, between two bioreactors and that, that's gotta be enough. Now, let's see. Uh, let's put the copper ore away. Let's put the lead away. That was here. And let's put the titanium away for now. There. Um, next, we need to take a look, oops, at this. Um, there was upgrades that we could do now, I think. The torpedo system. We need titanium, lithium, and aerogel. And to make aerogel, oh, it's still unpowered. Huh. Did the amount of power I need go up when I put the solar panels in? You know what, let's just, uh, it's nighttime. Let's go to bed and deal with this in the morning. Then we're also going to, uh, we'll get some sleep and then I'm also gonna have to go get some fish. Hi Welcome kitty. Okay. Now, let's go. What do I need here? Um, aerogel. To make aerogel, I need gel sack and ruby. We got that. We just need to go get it. So, gel sack and ruby. Uh, lithium and titanium. Okay, that's all down the workshop. I probably need more compost as well. Back up, I got an idea. Hi, kitty. We're gonna grab this. Um, I 
You know, the problem is I need to keep growing some, but maybe, wait a minute. How much, what, what do I need to do to grow another planter? Indoor grow bed can just be for titanium. Okay. I'm not using this for anything. Let's go. We're gonna go build a grow bed next to one of the bioreactors. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna plant. Our power is going up, that's nice. Can we grow something here? Yes, we can. Okay, next, use planter. We're gonna do a Java cup and Ming plant. There. Let those grow and then we can spread the seeds from those to other things. Go with that, I go with that. And go with that. And then we'll do more later. Uh, next. All right. Um, I need a gel sack and Ruby. That's right. because uh, we need to make aerogel. Okay, next. We've got aerogel, now we need uh, lithium and three titanium. One, two, three, and a lithium. Just one. Uh, let's go build a mod. Look at that torpedo system. Well, what can I do here? Prawn suit? Okay. Yep. Gotta be able to build a prawn suit first, but... Swap, okay, interesting. You can't keep them all in there. Well, I'll take out the solar charger for now and put in the, put in that for now. So now you know what I need. I need, what about, you know what? Okay, I need more, uh, let me go get some titanium. Didn't know I was gonna have to balance out mods, uh, but what we'll do is this. And we'll put a locker here for the leftover mods. Uh, I'll put uh, dream car mods. There. And uh, that way I can 
keep this and just put it in there for now. So if we decide we want it, we got it. Let me drink my water. And okay, stuff to do here, guys. I'm really curious. The thing is we actually need tor torpedoes, don't we? Like we don't actually have torpedoes. We need torpedoes. Can we build them here at this fabricator? Torpedoes, look at that. Uh, a vortex, we get two. Let's go build some. We have magnetite. Somewhere. Oh, right in front of me. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And, oops. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Torpedoes, can you only carry two at a time? How do I load them? Like, what do you do? That's a really good question. I even think about that. Um, Cause I have that now, the torpedo system. Oh, I still have stuff in here too. Oh. That, that'll be compost right there. Hang on. Um, okay, where do you load the torpedoes? There's gotta be a place, right? Access Torpedo Bay, there we go. Perfect. Just the right amount. Now I'll be curious to see what it's gonna be like to use one. That's very exciting. Now, one thing I will notice that in the house, the compost that seems to work the best, like the fish are keeping it kind of going. And I do need to go fishing, so. Let's put the tight, you know what? I'm just gonna build another locker because we're gonna need one in here. Oh, we'll do it on the other side. Probably need that for Cyclops parts. One thing I do actually want to look at. All right, what are we looking at here to... Neptune escape rocket. Guys, we're, we could build that we just need to build it all right we don't know the ingredients yet to build that but look at that huh prawn suit epic mech suit design we actually could we actually have all the things to build those we have two diamond we have lead we can make enameled glass Aerogel, we got that. And Plasteel, we, we can make that as well. Interesting, we might have to build a prawn suit. Not now, but next, next episode. But we need, we still need to be able to get the ingredients for the Cyclops. 
and this is going to be important. It is definitely going to be important. All right. Let's go to bed. Thank you. Oh. Hi, kitty. All right. Woo. Wow. We need to go fishing. Because we're running out of food. And we can't live off vending machine snacks forever. I'll grab a water on the way out. Oh, duh, Bulba tree. There you are, you beautiful tree. Well, give me what I need. All right, we'll still grab some water just in case we need some. All right, guys, I'm gonna go grab some fish to go stock up the refrigerator. Welcome aboard, Captain. And uh, I don't think I need to put that on video. Hey, we got power all of a sudden, sweet. Uh, but I'm gonna grab some fish for uh, to use in the bioreactor. I'm gonna grab some fish to just cook and put in the refrigerator to have it. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, I'm gonna do that off camera for a little bit. And then uh, I may actually get to the next episode uh, and we might build a prawn suit. So, uh, and then see what we can find. Um, oh, the prawn suit, we could probably use that to get those really big deposits too. So cool. All right, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Well, okay guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, but it actually turned out to be pretty cool. Um, you know, in a way it feels like we didn't do much, but then we also did a lot. We scanned a ton of Cyclops parts and that's really cool. I, I'll be honest, I don't know much about what the Cyclops is. What I surmise is that the Cyclops is like the next step up from the sea moth. Um, I think that's what it is anyway. And I'm really excited about the prawn suit. I've got questions about the prawn suit. Can you wear the prawn suit when you're driving a sea moth? Like, is it just too much? Do you have to pick one or the other? Or is the prawn suit just like your new armor that you just wear all the time? You know, like, I don't know, I don't know. But we, I think we can start to go through the steps now to build a prawn suit and that would be really cool. Uh, and we, we ended up scanning what we needed to build the prawn suit arm, uh, which I think is probably what we used then to break up all those big deposits, which means we could really do some serious farming with that. Uh, it, it hasn't gone unnoticed that we can build the platform for that Neptune rocket. And that might be something that we need to do as a safe measure because guys, here's the thing. We need to get off this island. Uh, something's trying to hunt us. So, so we're on this planet. We're on this island, uh, and I don't, I don't know. I, I love what I've built, and I feel like I could live in this world, you know, and, and at least in the video game for a long time. But 
something's out there and it wants us. So we need to be careful too because, you know, it wasn't like I buried uh, my my home down in the sea. I'm like, hey, look at me, everybody. I might as well just like take a bunch of rocks and put them out on the beach and just put help and then set it all on fire or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, you know, I, it's so much fun with this particular episode and I really do want to build the Cyclops. I want to build the prawn suit. I know I need to build that that um, uh, uh, the base to be able for the Neptune rocket. Um, so much to do, so much still left to do and discover. And I mean, we're still infected. How we can't we can't launch a Neptune rocket. We can't even we'll get blown out of the sky again. We have things to do. There's a lot to do in this game. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the journey still ahead, and I hope you guys are too. If you are, make sure to click like on this video and just let me know and let others know that they may enjoy it as well. If you are not a part of this community at Let's Play Easy Mode, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and join because there's some really awesome people here in this community, and uh, you should come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of that community, if you want to dive in a little bit deeper with it, you can go to the Discord server. Uh, uh, by clicking the link down in the description below. And of course, if you want more content and a really cool community, hop on over to Patreon, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, I love you so much. I'm gonna go fishing in the game and just kind of stock back up on a few things. And then uh, next episode, I think we're going to still try to find the deep shroom, uh, the deep mushroom. And uh, so that way we can start putting things together to also build that electrical field around the dream car. Uh, but also we're going to build a prawn suit too, which I'm really excited about. So anyway, that's coming up next. Uh, but until then, take it easy.